So now let's see how we can utilize replay and trigger option in character animator. So here you can see that I have a character and I can make it do stuff. I can make it walk on the right side, on the left side, I can drag its hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, record a series of actions and then assign them to a trigger. That means whenever I press a button, uh, that particular animation will be replayed. And that comes uh, in very handy while you're animating. So I'm going to hit the record button right here. So there's the recording. And now I can make the character walk just like this, make it stop and then wave out just like this. I'm just going to wave out. So I'm just going to stop around right here and you can see that these are the animations. So the character is walking, that's fine. So the character walking is fine, but what I want is I want the uh, wave to happen at the same time. So both of the wave right here, I want to happen at the same time. So I'm just going to go around and drag this out and let's see where the wave is at. So you can see right here. So there's the scene right there. So let me just go around. So wave is right here around here. So I'm just going to go around and then uh, crop this out right here. And then the second wave, let, let's see where it is. It's right around here. So I'm just going to crop this around. Let me just zoom this in so that I can work around more closely with it. Okay, so the character is walking, the character stops. So right here, I want both of the hand waves to happen. Now let's see how that actually looks like. So if I were to press the play button, you can see the character walks, the character stops, and then there's the wave right here. Of course, look, uh, it looks very, very rough, but we are just trying to get some movement right here to work around with our uh, with our replay and trigger. So let's just go around and then resize everything up. So what I want to do is add in a bit of A's in right here so that the movement is not abrupt. So let's just go over here and pull out these triggers right here to make sure that the movement is not abrupt. All right, so now what I'm going to do is hit the play button and then you'll be able to see that the character walks in, the character stops and then waves out his hand right there. So I can also use uh, webcam movements and everything else right here. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this out and I'm going to right click. And over here you can see that there's an option called create replay and trigger. Once I click on this, so you have to select all of the things that you want to add in the replay and trigger. In my case, it's the walk and the hand movements. I'm just going to right click, click on create replay and trigger. And now what happens is that a replay and trigger is applied. You can see that this is Dragon 3 right here. And over here, if I were to expand the replays, you can see that this is around 5.8 seconds long right here. And this is the trigger. So now what I can do is I can assign. If I were to click over here, you can see that the replay, the trigger actually plays out just like this. So I can go over here, I can record it out. I can record and it is recording as you can see. And then what I can do is I can just play this out. And what happens is that that particular animation is being played out and it's being recorded right there. So let me just stop it out. And you can see that over here, another copy of the same uh, keyboard input and everything has been uh, mentioned right here. So it's a, a replay trigger, which is mentioned by the keyboard input. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign, let's say, for example, uh, one thing like A right here. So once I assign the A key right here, you can see that whenever I press the A key, the uh, um, the, uh, the character actually replays and you can see this out here. If I were to keep on pressing A, you can see that the character keeps on replaying right here and seems as if the character is walking forever. You can also change that out by going into, let's say for example, latch right here, so that if I were to press A, it actually keeps on going. If I were to press A again, you can see that it actually starts and stops. So the latch and everything else, you can do that over here as well. So that is how this actually works like. So you can uh, add in movements and then create replay and trigger so that whenever you press a key, the character actually starts doing that action. So if you have certain actions that are quite repetitive in your animations, then this makes things a lot more easier. So that is how you can create, replay, and trigger inside of Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.